Welcome to a lesson with Dr. Powell. Let's take a look at another example of uh, graphing a rational function. Suppose this time that we have um, x plus 2 over x minus 1. So the associated polynomial is just a quadratic like this. Multiplicities of 1 here. And um, let's draw it down here. And notice that we have, let's see, we have at negative 2 and at 1. We have zeros, and it looks like it has n behavior up, up with an x squared. So it goes just like this. So that's our starting graph. Now, n behavior, we take the quotient. Now, for this quotient, um, you could do it either synthetic or long. I'll just do it long here. Notice that you only have really a one step. Because you compare this to this, it's just one. And then you take this x minus one, you subtract, and you end up, um, and you end up getting a three here for, for the remainder. So, but the, the interesting part is the quotient. That's the quotient tells us if you set y equals to it. Y equals a number is just a horizontal line. It's an asymptote. That means our graph is going to bend toward that asymptote. If we're below right here, I think we might just stay below and just bend toward it. Up here might be kind of similar idea. And then maybe we'll just bend toward it. All right. So that was step two. Now in step three, looks like um, minus two comes from the x plus two, which is on the top. So it's all, all good. But the one that comes from the bottom, we need to change it. We change it by drawing a vertical line, vertical asymptote. Then we modify this graph. So if we're, because we have to go along this. Now, since we're already on this side, we need to stay on that side. So we end up going and maybe make this nice and curved. So we go downward to it that way. Over here, we think some of, we think, well, we can't go down because we're already on this side, so we have to go up. In fact, so we stay on the same side as the asymptotes just to make it pretty. Why don't we think about this? We're going along this, and then we go up. And that would be the graph. Now, maybe to make this symmetric, this should really be further up, but at least that's the idea. And we have the graph. We went through steps one, two, and three. One, we got this polynomial graph to, to fix. Two, we got the end behavior line. Three, we get the local behavior lines. And we, and we bend the graph. That's it. Thanks for watching.